thanks for joining me. I want to show you how easy it is to make a really smooth surface on these pens so that you can write on them. First thing I do is I'm going to take my slide cutter and cardstock, and I usually get it in the scrapbooking section. I'm going to measure the length of my pen and cut my strips that wide. I'm going to slice them, and you can cut several at a time and then use school glue and just like a smooth row of glue take a sponge brush and brush them so that it's an even amount of glue all the way across the back of the pens and then just attach the papers you can see i have all of my pens actually clipped onto a long strip of cardboard which makes it easier for me to work with them so let me cut just a few more since I've already put glue on those. I usually will use one or two strips of paper at any given time when I'm cutting, just to make it a little faster if I use two at a time. You just have to be more careful. But you can see it goes really quickly. Okay, just securing these on here. And then once they dry, you do wanna wait for them to dry so they're not wet. But once they dry, you can take a Sharpie, a paint pen, any type of marker really, and then you can write on it. And you can see this is a fine tip marker and you cannot use a fine tip directly on the wood, but you can once you put paper on it. So I've got um, Good Luck, The Summit 2023 because hopefully we'll be passing these out in a couple of weeks. I'm very excited. Here's what they look like with the cardstock paper that I found in the scrapbooking section. I'll also provide all the different links. You can do just a portion of the pen if you want and brush glue on the tip and dip that into the glitter. Just measure the paper to the length that you want. I've added a few flat back jewels to these. I'll put links for that as well. Anyway, I certainly hope you've enjoyed. Happy pinning. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up.